What's going on my dudes, One Step here with who is Noob Saiba in Mortal Kombat 1? Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get right into it. So I posted a poll the other day, they got 45,000 votes and the question is, what Mortal Kombat character do you wanna see make a return to Mortal Kombat 1? And the choices that I gave were characters that I thought were, you know, fan favorites, most wanted, stuff like that. I chose Cabal, Scarlet, Noob, Cyborg, Kotokan, basically characters from Mortal Kombat 11 that didn't make the cut for Mortal Kombat 1. And with 59%, which is a massive win, Noob, Cyborg, takes the cake but the whole reason for this video of who is noob cybot mortal kombat 1 because i know a lot of you might be thinking one step noob cybot isn't in mortal kombat 1 he was never confirmed and you're not wrong as of this recording noob cybot is not confirmed for mortal kombat 1 he is leaked leaked is very different than confirmed my dudes i had a ton of comments be like noob why would you vote for noob cybot he's already confirmed he's not confirmed he, he's been leaked it might be so funny watching this video later on if noob cybot ever does get confirmed is, is and is actually in the the game you're like what do you mean he's already in the game as of right now he's just been leaked and the leaks aren't even really that great they're just standard leaks but i had more than probably two three dozen comments of that exact same comment like why would you vote for noob he's already confirmed so first thing i want to say is there's a lot more people out there that actually believe leaks and take them for you know written in stone kind of thing than, you, than they should be. Like, you guys need to chill. Like, they're, they're just leaks. And on top of those comments, a lot of people said, and this is like a lot of people, a lot of people said, Noob can't be in Mortal Kombat 1 because Bihan isn't dead. As we all know for the Mortal Kombat 1 story, it was kind of a reboot, but it's a new era, a new timeline. They're, every character is essentially different. Every character has a different timeline. They have a different history. They have a different origin. They have different people. Like, for an example, Hanzo isn't even Scorpion in this Mortal Kombat 1. It's Kwai Lang. So Kwai Lang, as we know, is usually Sub-Zero. So having Hanzo not play Scorpion, and people have different origins. So to the comment of, you know, oh, Noob can't play in this game because Bihan's still alive. It's like, that makes no sense because anybody could be Noob side, but it doesn't have to be Bihan. As we know, Hanzo isn't Scorpion. So why does Bihan have to be Noob? We're used to that because he's been that way forever. But in this new timeline, everyone's different, has a different origin, like I said. So... So Bihan doesn't need to be Noob, and that's cool. So who is Noob Cybot? Well, let's go ahead and run with the idea that Noob is coming to Mortal Kombat 1. Let's go ahead and play with that idea real quick. I have a couple theories of who it's gonna be, because it's probably not gonna be Bihan. I mean, it could, it totally could. Don't get me wrong. The, the stored expansion packs and whatever could make Bihan die and like whatever. It could be Bihan. That's like the first dumb theory. Like, yeah, they could just go back to do with that. But besides Bihan, who could they make Noob Saiba in Mortal Kombat 1? And my first theory that I think has some really good evidence to it is actually Bihan's dad. Like in Mortal Kombat 1, we know that Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers in this timeline and that if you, you know, spoiler alert, sorry, but Bihan actually lets their father die because he's just a dick that way, but that's what he does. So I picture Bihan's dad, their dad, coming back as Noob Saibot, coming back for vengeance. Now, how does he come back? I don't know, Quan Chi, Shang Tsung, freaking whoever, Titan Havoc, any villain bringing back Bihan's dad, bringing him back as Noob Saibot would kind of be cool. Like vengeance, like you let me die. I love you son, but you left me for dead. Stuff like that, that'd be kind of cool. Ooh. My next theory is that Noob Saibot from Mortal Kombat 1 could be any Noob Saibot from any timeline. If you guys watch the ending, if you beat the ending of Mortal Kombat 1, it was psychotic. It's a massive multiverse, meaning there are mixtures of characters from across all timelines, which means there's endless amount of Noob Saibots. It could be Noob mixed with Kung Lao. It could be Noob mixed with Garrus. There's so many options. So it could be a standard Noob, or it could be a Noob a mixture that we get. That would be kind of cool as well, but it would be probably most likely that we just get a Noob Saibot from a different timeline now depending on who that noob is it could be behind it could be somebody else uh, it, it, do, it doesn't really matter it could just come from any other timeline because now we're just entering the mkcu right the mortal kombat cinematic universe there's just so many timelines so many characters it's basically endless now or another theory it could just be a normal person in our universe in our mortal kombat one realm there's just a normal human that happens to have dark powers or has a dark clone or something like that like maybe it's a whole new person named freaking steve or joe or something and like oh yeah that's my name is noob saiba i i was born with these dark powers for whatever reason and now i use them for good or like whatever point is it could be anybody it could be a new person with different powers that originate making those dark powers that dark clone that's like a oh this is my evil shadow i don't know it's just it's something so i think the main things to take away from this video is who is new 
to decide about. Well, there's a couple of theories that I have that I think all have feet to like run on. Like I think they all have backing and evidence that could prove them right, right? But also at the end of the day, it couldn't be Bihan. It could be Bihan. Maybe Bihan from a different timeline. There are so many options. And I'm not gonna lie to you. He's probably coming to the game, sure. But as of right now, we have no idea he's leaked. So I might be making this video for no reason. Noob Saibot might never come to Mortal Kombat 1. I, I don't know. Is it cool to speculate? Sure. I think he'd be a great addition, especially if they gave him a new origin, maybe a new character. I would love to see Noob. I mean, I want all the ninjas that we can get in Mortal Kombat 1, obviously. But with that being said, let me know down below. What is your theory? Do you believe the leaks are true? Do you want Noob Saibot to come back to Mortal Kombat 1? And if so, what's your theory? Is it Bihan? Is it a different timeline? Is it a new character? Is it Bihan's dad? What's your theory? What's your thoughts? Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.